Hey guys, hey guys. Good morning, good morning. A very good morning to you. And uh, this is the last uh, series of preparation plans for ISIM start. And we have, we have today the books for preparation in probability part for ISIM start. And uh, let's see what we have. My suggestion is one book always, one book for the entirety for the entirety, and that's why I will do for with you today. And I will. Take you through the plans of the entire preparation, okay? In probability, so let's check first. Let's check first, guys. So, uh, first, what is the syllabus? Uh, I personally prefer to divide the syllabus into four parts, guys. Uh, probability one, probability two, probability three, probability. Oh, this is probability four. Sorry, and then statistics, okay? So let's see what is there in probability one, probability two, probability three, probability four. Now this time, this things will each of them will not contain in different books, but each of them will contain in one book. And there's only one book for preparation. I will tell you, and I follow that in my classes. I follow that to learn myself, and I follow that to you. Okay. So most of the faculties of Chinda Statistics Department have learned using this book. So I I prefer that you also should learn from this book. This is the best book that is that I know in the whole uh, that I know personally. Okay, for preparation in uh, probability, understanding probability to the fullest. Uh, so the book is uh, like it's both for beginner and pro, and the book is Introduction to Probability by Joseph K. Blitzstein and Jessica Huang. Uh, so the best thing about this book is that it not only consists of probability, but it also consists of R codes and stuff that will give you a lot of lot of insights in the probability and a lot of examples, sort of beautiful examples to make you really really fall in love with probability. Okay, and also prepare you for the um, subject. And another thing is that this professor Joseph Blitzstein uh, is also from Har uh, like Harvard University, and he has also a lecture series on the same probability, uh, like uh, in uh, YouTube. It's for open source. Like you can check it out, and uh, you can really go out there and check it out, and you can do this uh, side by side uh, this book and that lecture series if you are preparing for self study, guys. So there are ten chapters you should do for this, and each of them are divided into. Like the total time chances are divided into probability one, two, three, four. Let's check it out, guys. Probability one. What is in probability one, guys? Uh, we always start our probability course from basic combinatorics and counting, guys. And uh, then in combinatorics and counting, we understand uh, how to count the number of elements of a set. Understanding how to count, okay? Because that was the starting point of classical probability in the history of probability. And then we move on to uh conditional the basic probability definition the axioms of probability and conditional probability and bayes theorem so this is what we consist of like uh we do in probability 1 and it's currently going on in chinta for 2022 batch and i think it's really important for the first one or two months you should do this probability 1 and make sure you are really confident in this the combinatorics part is actually the bounding combination part is actually the equivalent of a uh, classical probability that is all are equally likely events uh, so that is really really important because those from their portion comes okay where they equally likely and you have to apply only combinatorics rule okay that's really really important so you must be not uh, thinking that okay this is not the way to learn you you must know that combinatorics is really an important part because it's uh, equivalent to classical probability and then i want to probability normal generalized probability definition by kolmogorov not in the generalized format but a basic format and then we move on to conditional probability and bayes theorem so this is what probability one should uh, consist of and you should spend at least one month to learn this if you're just starting now or like the preparation for 2022 batch i mean just one year before the exam guys so this is a basic idea and this is a probability one guys uh, so make sure you do this and solve all the exercises do the r exercises it's really useful it's, and there is a really good book okay i'm sure you, when you will learn this you will understand Okay, the next part when you are confident in this part, next go on to probability two. In the probability two part, what I think is that it's a perfect place to start random variables, and then there are two aspects: uh, random variables and then continue discrete distributions first. You understand everything about discrete distribution and do a lot of examples. Personally, I do something called Bernoulli process and Poincaré process, where this is not given in the book. This I do on my own. Uh, is that uh all the random variables that you know the beautiful random variables the um, famous random variables come out of a process called bernoulli process the discrete part and similarly the poincare process ka outcome are the continuous random variables and there is a relationship between that okay uh so what is the relationship for example ge geometric is equivalent to um 
exponential and uh, negative binomial which is sum of uh, geometric is equivalent to uh, sum of exponential which is gamma okay so these are like a lot of relationships because there are two processes and out of this process is actually this discrete random variables and the non discrete random variables and uh, continuous discrete random variables come out so this is really really important guys you should know this guys and uh, and then come out expectation and the moments part where you understand what is the uh, how to understand a random variable by a single a few numbers okay expectation moments so one thing i really uh, like is to tell you that how moments really define a whole distribution the how the moments define the shapes of the distribution that is related to something called moment generating function and i will make a video on that soon on our website on our youtube channel so stay tuned to this and yeah so what is there in random like random variables and then discrete distributions which come out of a process called bonnelli process so this is not in the book this you should learn yourself and then comes out moments comes up moments for you guys to understand the distribution this law of unconscious statistician is really important it's really beautiful also okay so continuous random variables as i told uh, it is uh, consisting of the like the up upgradation of the uh, discrete random variables so one important aspect is that people one important uh, mistake that people you know or maybe a loophole some paradox people don't understand is the following that in a discrete distribution guys we have pmf right and in continuous distribution we are moving on to pdf guys okay so there's a gap in between this how the pdf and the probability it really makes sense so that's why it comes up that fx dx is actually a probability fx is not a probability okay pdf is not a probability pdf into dx is a probability and this is i have made a video on this in our youtube channel so please check it out uh, i will share it with you soon and um, uh, in the continuous random variables it's a as i told it's a pop, all the uh, famous random variables that you know are actually a part of something called point show process which is a, sort of an extension of the bernoulli process in some sense so they are related totally and you must be learning in this way so because a natural question comes up that how this random variables came up really in the history of learning probability and uh, chance okay so this is really makes this makes sense okay so then comes up the moments as i told the uh, expectation ka generalized version is moments and i think i think this is the this is another important part to understand of uh, like why moments are really important this is not given in the book also but uh, like this is given in books in some uh, scenes but why moments are important why why we are only studying the first two moments like expectation and variance or kurtosis kunis not y expectation of x minus mu whole to the power 100 there's a reason behind that because the order of the moment and the even order of moment behave same exactly up till certain point so there's a geometrical reason behind that you should learn this i don't know whether it's given in the book but i teach it to my students okay this is really really important and if you're learning out this guys i will make videos please check out our videos out there in the uh in our web website okay in our youtube channel okay so this is our first probability two and pro probability one and probability two for probability two you must spend at least two months to understand this and solving the problems guys okay uh, okay so now coming to probability three guys before you we uh proceed uh do subscribe to our channel if you have now and if you find the content useful guys okay so coming back to probability three guys so probability one ke liye one month the combinatorics and the basic probability part for probability two guys it is the uh, the random variables and dis discrete random variables and then continuous random variables and the expectation and moments part so two months for this and then what we need to do is the following the probability three part probability three part is the most important uh, the probability three and probability four are the most important so part okay because this part is really connected to statistics directly how because statistics are most understand all about understanding relationships of two or more variables right so this bivariate or multivariate uh, probability distribution is all about understanding how different random variables work together how, what is the meaning or what is the random variable ka uh, behavior together okay so this is really really important for you to understand the statistical part or statistics part of the like probability okay for example this discrete uh, this uh, joint random variable this is a part of joint random variables where we understand multiple random variables together so we start with x comma y the bivariate random variables and then we move on to understanding how we can change the random variables to a different set of random variables and understand it and this is the first part where correlation comes into the picture covariance comes into the picture which essentially means that how two random variables interact with each other 
okay so this is the most important part as i told because statistics is all about understanding relationship between two or more random variables so this is the mathematical foundation of statistics okay so i think you should give much more importance to this so it starts with join random variables it goes to join marginal conditional distribution of random variables and then we move on to correlation covariance we do two famous so for the isim set for iit jam also we two only random variables are important that is multivariate and multivariate normal and multinomial which are really really useful if you see isim set ka last year ka paper there is a testing of hypothesis problem which can require multi which you can do using multivariate normal ka density so i think this is important okay so make sure you do this very 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 well and then you trans come up to transformation of random variables where you understand how to random variables transform together to give different random variables for example transformation of beta gamma gives beta right trans like x by y of uh, also normal gives uh, standard normal independent gives cauchy so this is also makes a uh, makes a makes a promise to you this a uh, transformation makes a promise to you that how different random variables are connected to each other okay summation of random variables gives summation of point show gives point show summation of a geometry gives binomial a negative binomial summation of exponential gives gamma so this things really come up here uh, using the mathematics behind this is really useful so you must do this guys to make yourself very very comfortable with probability this is the most complicated tough and beautiful part of probability yeah, like not be most beautiful but the beautiful is coming next but this is the most important guys to make yourself very comfortable with the statistics or even if you are just in the data science community okay guys okay so coming back to the next part the probability four so for probability three you need to give at least uh, one and a half to two months so that's one month for probability one two months for probability two three or two or uh, 1.5 months or two months for probability four okay uh, probability three okay so five months are already gone and then the last part guys last part is probability four this is also the most uh, not important yeah important in some sense but the beautiful part because this conditional expectation is a geometry okay you see that 9.4 out there is geometrical they like geometrical understanding and conditional expectation guys this is the most because a set of random variables actually a vector space okay so all the properties of vector space are really really important okay i forgot to tell you something we join distribution the prerequisites yeah, because you have to understand jacobian over here okay so you must know how uh, like the understanding like you must know this idea of uh, linear algebra before this point of time so probability 1 probability 2 nothing is required but for probability 3 onwards you need linear algebra more okay to understand because it's a multivariate setup so you need to draw diagrams and understand that okay like how the uh, like how cutting how marginal is a, what is the geometry of the margin okay so that is you must understand what is geometry of conditional expectation so as i told here in probability 4 it gives you an idea of how random variables the conditional expectation behaves okay conditional expectation is a really beautiful idea it has a geometric uh, interpretation as i told because a set of random variables is a vector space so all the properties of the vector space for example covariance of two random variables is equivalent to dot, dot product of two random variables okay and also correlation if you know correlation is modulus of correlation is less than equal to 1 greater than equal to 1 it's exactly equivalent to the fact that cos theta is uh, modulus of cos theta is less than equal to 1 greater than equal to 1 they are really really connected deep together you must learn this is not also given inside the book i teach it to my students so i think it's really really important to know this guy uh, guys super important because it will enhance your perception about probability mathematics and statistics together toward Wholly different level, guys. Okay, so this is a really important. Conditional expectation is actually also like a like expectation is actually like a projection, and variance is actually like a dis like the modulus, the length of the random variable. Okay, guys. So uh, after this, uh, after this, what we do? We do inequalities and limit theorems. And inequalities and limit theorems also really important because also something is not given over here, which we do in the classes is. Uh, conversion in probability in definite details, conversion in uh, distribution in details, because you must understand the theory behind it before applying it in central limit theorem law of large numbers, guys. So uh, MLEs are cons consistent and are like MLE conversion in probability to the actual theta in terms of statistics. So understanding the various properties of uh, properties of you know what uh, conversion in probability will help you understand and do problems really really fast in objective portion. So make sure you learn that part also conversion in probability, conversion in distribution from some other book. Okay, but this is really important. If you do this book, this ten chapters, guys, I think you will be the best in probability to yourself. Okay, uh, in your basic understanding. So make sure you do this, guys, and so probability. So this takes about one to one point five months. In total, 
must devote you must devote six months of practice and learning to probability theory this is super important guys and you should not miss this because this is the time to build your basics in probability if your probability is if your probability is really really good no one can stop you in if, in your future in data science and statistics guys i can assure you with 100% so make sure you learn this from this book and make sure if you do the r exercises you will become too good in r so that is a bonus for you guys so this is the this is what i have to offer you guys and uh, so we have probability 1 ke liye 1 month probability 2 ke liye 2 months probability 3 ke liye 2 months probability 4 ke liye 1 month so you have Six months total of preparation of probability, and exactly follow this uh, aspect in our classes too. We give six months of focus out of twelve months to earn more or more than six months, maybe to probability guys, because it builds your basics, guys. It's super important, guys. Make sure you do that yourself, and all the best, guys. If you have not subscribed to our channel, and also please share this to your friends who are really in need of this self-study preparation ideas, so that they can also get help and prepare to the fullest and understand and fall in love with the subject, guys. So yeah, thank you guys for your support, and I will see in the next video, next preparation video with different some idea of some other different ideas. Also, we have made some preparation videos for mathematics and statistics too. Check out the books, and also I will give the link of the books I have shared now here uh, in the comment section. Do check it out and do like and subscribe and give some support, guys. Thank you for your support, and I will see in the next video, guys. Till then, stay tuned and stay blessed.